Hey Trovers, I am D-Hitman and today I'm going to teach you guys how to start your own live stream on Trovo. From getting your own stream keys to all your customizations that you will need. Alright, let's go ahead. Alright, so before we continue on, I want to show you guys how you can actually change your language. I currently have my set to English, however, if I wanted to, I can switch it to French, which I do speak as well as Spanish. So we go ahead to the top right corner, you will see there is your logo, basically your profile. You can click on that and then you can go ahead and go to the bottom right where it says language. Once you click on that, you can actually switch the display language to whatever language you see. As you can see, there is a whole bunch of languages that are available. You can put them auto, which I do, but you can select whichever ones you want. All right, let's get to starting your stream. It's very simple. All you got to do is click on your profile, pick again, and then you go to the Creator Studio. All right, now that you're in the Creator Studio, there's a lot of things that can be used in this Creator Studio that we can talk about in another video, but more notably, we can talk about the Trouble 500. We can talk about your past stats. You can talk about your previous videos, your earnings, all that in this very nice dashboard that you can use all on the left side. But for now, we're going to talk about how you set up your stream. While we are here, go ahead and copy your stream key this is going to be used for a later do not share this with anyone else because that's going to be specifically for your channel all right let's talk about the customization as you can see you can change your title i have mine as the short vanguard grind you can do whatever you like whatever you feel necessary for your stream and then you have your category whatever game you play they most likely will have all you got to do is type it in and as you type it in it's going to have a drag down as well as some saved ones for when you ever play multiple games it will save the ones that you either recently used or the one you played the most so Call of Duty Mobile is the one I play the most. It will show up in the top part. And then you have the other games that you've been playing recently. So as you can see, I can click the Vanguard if I want to, Call of Duty Mobile, which is pretty cool. Then you can select the language as you like. I have English right now because it is my main language, so it's a lot easier for me to speak. We have that, but you can select whatever language you would like that's available, which is really nice. And then you have the content, which is basically the age group of people you want. So basically, if you want to say, oh, it's for all viewers, so, you know, fa family friendly, you have 13 plus, so like little teenagers and above. And then you have 18 plus, so like swearing and stuff like that so i put it 18 plus because cod vanguard is 18 plus there's a lot of swearing in the game so we do have that option and then you have the live notification so whenever you go live all you have to do is you just type whatever you want the people to see and when you go live you just have to hit that send notification and it'll send it out for you guys all right, now that we set up this section, let's jump into OBS Studio so you can actually use OBS Streamlabs if you like, and we can talk about mobile afterwards. All right, so we're on OBS Studio. We're going to show you guys how you can do that, but we also have OBS Streamlabs that we are currently using to record this. But for this sake, we're going to show you guys on OBS Studio, which is very similar to OBS Streamlabs when it comes to going live. Now, if you want to go live, all you got to do is hit the setting button and then it's gonna pop up this screen here. Then go to the stream section, click on Trovo, and then you can go on the stream key section and all you have to do is paste what we copied earlier today. All right, next up, we're gonna hit the output. This is where basically you get your bit rate, you get your rates and all that cool stuff. Basically what it means is that this is how you can make your stream run super smoothly. And here on Trovo, we're gonna give you guys some nice things to run nice and smoothly. So you guys can see these are the settings that we are currently using. All right, for the encoder, I am using the NVIDIA NVENC if you guys do have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can use that. It's going to make it use the graphics card rather than the CPU. However, if you rather use your CPU, you can actually use the X264. But in this situation, I recommend using the video card because the streaming typically uses a lot of CPU usage. And I recommend just using the NVIDIA one instead if you have that option. Next up, we're going to talk about the rate control. We're going to use a CBR, which is constant bit rate. It's going to consistently use the same bit rate. And we set it at 6,000. This is a perfect number for me. It works really nice and smoothly. However, if your internet is not as good, you might want to lower this because it's going to cause some frame drops. So if your internet is not super fast, don't be afraid to drop it down to 4,000, 3,000. Really depends on your own internet. I went with the preset quality, the profile high. And then you want to put the GPU to zero. You want to have also the max B frames at two. And with this, it should be nice and smooth. All right, so now that you have everything set up and you have your game ready, I have Call of Duty Mobile here ready to launch. Punch, bam, you can go ahead and hit on the bottom right to start streaming. And with that, it should be good to go and make sure to press that notification button, set notification, and now you are ready to stream. All right, so we're going to teach you guys next how to stream straight from your mobile device. We understand that not everybody has the luxury of owning a computer. So if you have a phone or a tablet, you can stream straight from it. All right, it's very simple. You see on the top right corner, you hit your profile and then you click it again to bring you to your main page. Then hit that go live button. You'll be able to go live straight from your phone and you basically have the same thing as if you were on your PC. You have the title, you have the game, you have the tags, you have the content. Even better, if you hit the events, you can actually test the speed and all that fun stuff on mobile 
mobile, which is fantastic because this gives the opportunity to everybody who has a phone to stream. All right, now you have everything set up on mobile. Just hit the go live and make sure to accept the video recording of the microphone that your phone might ask for trouble. That way you have your camera and the mic is gonna pick up. So if you're playing any mobile games, you're ready to go. And with that, you have now learned how to start streaming on PC and on mobile. So go ahead and load up your favorite game and start live streaming. What are you waiting for? It is so simple. That's gonna be it for me. Have a great day. Bye, Trovoers.